Hello and welcome everybody and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install the new 4.3 Jelly Bean for your Samsung Galaxy S4. As you know, Samsung has started releasing the international variant of the Samsung S4 that has the model number GT-i9500. Uh, you can update it through Samsung Keys or uh, over the air update, but if you if, it, if that's not available, or if your phone has had an, uh, an upgrade over the ODIN software, then you need to install it this way. First thing you need to do is you need to shut your phone off from here, power off, okay? Okay, and then after that, you need to download the uh, 4.3 software. The links are in the description. You need to download uh, the Samsung USB servers. Uh, for the phone and you need you also need to download uh, an, a, a software called ODIN already okay so now you're going to do something you're going to press the volume down button home and the power button okay so using these you get a warning a custom OS just press volume up and the phone is going to be ready to download software all right and you get your USB cable, plug it in, and then from the computer, all right, let's see, from the computer here, what you're going to do is, you're going to open the ODIN software, all right, and you're going to find here, OS com is ready, all righty. So that's right there, OSCOM. So all you need to do is press on PDA, then pick the file. I, I it's just Jellybean 4.3, the version for India, and press on it. And then you can press start. Okay, just leave it to load the MD5, and then press start. All right, so after a bit, your your phone's gonna start. You are gonna press start. Alrighty, uh, I pressed it already, and then you're, it, you have system here, and you have a bar right there, and your phone has started downloading the software to it. As you can see now, downloading. Do not turn off target. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for a little bit until it upgrades. I'm gonna tell you guys about the new updates in the. Uh, in the new 4.3. Well, uh, first of all, they added the uh, Galaxy Gear support that, that will support you to uh, ha have the new Samsung uh, smartwatch. It will have trim support, which is a new software by Google that will make your device a bit faster. It has a new application called Samsung Knox Implementation, KNOX. This uh, software allows you to have separate profiles on the phone where you, where you can have something like 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 two, two phones inside one phone where where in one part of the phone you can't access a few applications uh, Samsung wallet they improved the RAM management because because as you all know in the s4 the the uh, 4.2 version the RAM was a bit laggy uh, they also improved display color reproduction which which makes the screen look a bit sharper they improved the touch width also and they changed the whole Samsung keyboard the letters now look look a bit different they look a little more a little bit more funkier than uh, than they used to and they changed the uh, browser uh, it's a bit faster now uh, it's it's actually one of the best browser on the market anyway they added a mode called reading mode you can you can access that from the notification panel and it basically optimizes your uh, your display for reading you just uh, pick the applications that you use to read the most let's say for emails or books or anything like that and it just makes reading uh, a little bit easier okay uh, they uh, they changed the camera software and they changed a, l a little bit in the in the UI and the uh, contacts they they changed the flashlight to widget it was a huge box now they made it just a, a tiny circle and uh, 
just please make sure that before that you have backed up your data. Most of the time you don't need to, but just just in case. Uh, make sure that your phone has at least 80% of its battery power and that you have the USB drivers installed on the computers. I will have the link for you guys on it. Uh, in, and also enable uh, an option called USB debugging from the uh, from the developer mode, okay, on your phone. And uh, if you've if you've uh, if you started flashing the software already, that means that you probably lost any any like any custom ROMs that you added or or the routing. And you will root, and you you can also lose uh, Clockwork mod if you have it recovered, if you have it all, uh, sorry uh, installed. So if you want, you have to install it again. And also, like I told you, the routing is lost, so you're gonna have to do the routing again. And uh, that's it. So basically, you're just gonna wait for a little bit until the phone finishes the download, and then it's gonna open. And it's gonna have the new software. So just hang in there for a little bit. As you guys can see, we're almost done. I think just a few seconds. Let me show you the phone. All right, and it will restart on its own. Okay, Samsung Galaxy S4. And that's gonna do that for a little bit because it's gonna optimize your phone to the new software. Yes, and that's that's it. If you want to check if you have it, settings, get more, and then about device. As you can see, Android version 4.3. That's it. If you guys want to know how to root your 4.3 device, just uh, check my other video. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye bye.